Hey guys, it's Chrysler. Welcome to my channel and today is such an interesting day and it's something that I've been looking forward to for a while and it sounds so weird I think because um, this is a new chapter for me. It's the last day in my 20s and it shouldn't be a big deal um, but I know for some people it can be a big deal like the idea of getting older and feeling like you're leaving your youth behind, which, oh my god, there's a fuzz, which is kind of how I feel, but it's also really exciting. I feel like my 20s was definitely what it was supposed to be, like making a lot of mistakes and figuring out who you are, and we're never done learning who we are because we're always changing, and thank goodness for that. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about like leading up to getting older and turning 30 and where I thought that I'd be now and what I'm looking forward to. So I guess I'll start off with talking about where I thought I would be now when I was in my late teens. So I definitely thought that I would be married by like 25, have a baby at like 26, 27, and I wasn't any of those things back then. I just got married last year, so that was really exciting, and honestly, for the past, like, five, six years, I thought that I didn't want kids, and only now am I thinking more about having children, and I think I want to do it. It's still so scary. It's scary for everyone, but this is a big decision that Michael and I um, talk about and I definitely talk about it more like it's going to happen like when we have kids and you know things we would do how we would parent and such things decisions that you end up making as a parent I thought that I'd have a house by now which now that I'm older I know it's a lot more complicated and you can't just like force those things to happen within a timeline and unless you like really are strict with what you want but I think that because I wasn't married or like planning on having kids or like wanted those things in this plan so strictly that it didn't happen and I was okay with that and yeah I lived with my mom for a long period of time and that was fine and just learning more about the world and how much things cost and stuff like that. It's really a lot and it definitely changes your mind about some stuff, but I'm just happy now that I know more and I can make decisions about what I want. I remember in my mid-twenties I definitely was worried about feeling old and not being able to go out and have drinks and things like that and it's weird because now it seems like I don't need it like every once in a while I you know think about like oh it'd be fun to do something like wild and really just go on vacation that's all I think about just going on vacation and this all ties into becoming a parent and being tied down and having to have childcare and things like that and it holding you back from doing those fun things but I don't even have a kid and I'm not doing all of these theoretical things that I thought that I'd be missing out on. So that has led me to realizing that, uh, yeah, it's fine. If there's really something important that you want to do, you can make it happen, but it's not like you're doing the same wild stuff you were doing when you were younger, unless that's the life that you just live. Some people live that life for a very long time and I am not. The physical side of getting older is very interesting. I definitely feel like I'm better looking now than I was back then, but also that has to do with um, just getting better at taking care of yourself. And I think a lot of us feel that way where we look back and we think we know everything and things look good. And of course, um, styles change and we look back and it's all very cringy to look at. But I just feel like I, I look better, maybe it's because I'm more comfortable with my face and I know what looks good and I'm not trying so hard to fit into a certain box. Like I used to wear winged eyeliner all the time and honestly I can't be bothered most days. It is an occasion if I decide to wear winged eyeliner and I love it. I found my style but I know it'll change 
So for now, this is pretty good. Maybe in another 10 years, I will look back and be like, no, it wasn't good. <laughs> but we'll get to that point when we get to that point. Another thing that I find so interesting is that you don't feel like you're getting older. You still feel like you're 21, but you're not. You just know more shit and you are more logical about certain decisions. And I mean, there are plenty of young folk that are very smart, but I guess it's just perspective and being able to look back on many years. It just is different, but yeah, you don't feel any older and I find this so interesting because you know when you're young and you look at people that are like 25 and older and you're like damn they're old I don't want to get to that point I don't want to get old they don't have it together they're not cool anymore but thankfully I think with the age of social media um, and just more openness people are more accepting and yes there are still problems with acceptance but we're able to like keep up with the Joneses if we choose to do so <laughs> because of influencers and you know blogs and Pinterest and things like that. I feel like back then when I was growing up it was a lot easier to become outdated and dress like just like you you don't have style which is fine if you don't have style um, there are people out there that just live the normal lives and don't care about Instagram and you know fashion which is fine let them do them but I feel like for me now that I'm older like I don't want to let go of um, having fun with clothes and the things that I love and now I understand those older women that like stay classy and um, are able to just present themselves in a way that doesn't make themselves look like old because I don't want to be that way. I thought that when I got older, I would just all of a sudden shrivel into a, an old woman and like not care about things that I love, like fashion and beauty and doing my hair and things like that. And I'm just so happy that that isn't the truth and that I have a choice to do whatever I want. When I get older, I want to be that woman with curly hair. Hopefully my hair goes salt and pepper and I can dye it all these fun colors. And that'll be me and I'm looking forward to it and it's a privilege to get older and I hope that I get to do that and I just hope for more experiences that teach me lessons and people around me to share them with um, that love me and I just that's all I want and if I get to have children um, that'll be one of the biggest challenges of my life I know it I think that every next chapter is so scary and some people are more excited about these next chapters than others, like having children. Like right now, I'm not as scared to buy a house. I definitely was in the past. I thought it wasn't in the cards for me. I knew nothing about that kind of stuff. Um, and now I feel so completely different about it. I know that it's possible and we're not taught everything. We have to seek things out and learn and I'm just finding myself being less scared of taking chances and going after what I want and it is so nice that I have a partner to do it with. Another thing that I wanted to touch on is that I'm so grateful that I had role models in my life that never were self-conscious about their age. You know in TV shows and movies where the women are constantly lying about their age and subtracting so many numbers, pretending they're 32 when they're 40, when there's nothing wrong with being older? I never had that in my life and I'm very happy and grateful that I didn't because I think that has a lot to do with um, your perception about getting older. I've only had one person around me, they're no longer in my life. They would comment and joke joke about how I was getting older and she was older than me. I felt like she was trying to make me upset in a way, but if anything it was just annoying because I wouldn't say that to someone. It's just all very strange how people can try to tear you down about getting older and I know it's just a reflection of how they feel maybe. So I'm just happy that I didn't have people close to me growing up that felt this way. So I want to be that person for other people. I'm also thinking about everyone else that's turning a uh, milestone year, I guess I'd call it, because we've been in quarantine and the world is starting to open up now halfway through the year. But this whole quarantine has made me reflect a lot on 
my feelings and what I want and how I have been and how I want to be moving on. And I know being separated from people that I either love or don't love has made me um, do even more growth. Because I was separated, I could look back on my behaviors and things like that and people wouldn't know if I was avoiding them um, on purpose or not. And um, it's up to ourselves to realize what's good for us um, alone and not really talk to other people sometimes. So I'm really grateful to have led up to this birthday pretty much by myself. And um, I haven't been by myself, but yeah, that's all. That's all I mean. Just self-reflecting alone is so important. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for sticking around if you've been here with me for a while. I am excited for my birthday tomorrow and Michael's actually getting like stuff from Target. I don't know what he's getting. But that's it for this video. I hope you're having a magical day so far and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.